Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. But anyways, right now I'm gonna go get a, um, what is this called? A fill. And y'all, my toes pass overdue. So I'm just gonna let, you know, girl do her thing down there, you feel me? And yeah. Like I said, I'm all the way to the nail shop. I started going to this new nail shop out here in San Jose. It's called K3. My friend Kiara actually put me on because for a minute I was going to this nail shop called Color Nails, but then I stopped going there because they got robbed. Mind you, I was not there when they got robbed, but they had literally got robbed, and I get so scared of going to places that got robbed, like a nail shop. I've never heard a nail shop even like get robbed. Like, how do you get robbed? So now over there, all they accept is Cash App. Apple Pay or um, Venmo and yeah I just I don't know so I ain't went back over there in a minute then I was going to this one spot um, that was like on the east side of San, San Jose child the ghetto um, and I didn't like it either because I would want like a design They'll act like they know how to do the design, but when I look, when the design is done and over with and I look at it, it looks like a freaking third grader handwriting. Like, what? No. So, I'm testing out new shops, and I really like this shop because y'all see this M? Like, even back home, because I'm from, I'm from Stockton or whatever, they don't do nothing like that out there. They so basic with their nails, like, they only mess with solid colors, and that's it. Okay, y'all, so while I'm driving to the nail shop, I thought I should just have, like, a, a little chit-chat about my situation of, like, what happened to me back in November because I never really spoke on it. I was just, like, saying that I was okay because back in November, it was literally, like, I would say maybe, what, a week or two before Thanksgiving? So November the 16th, or was it the 15th? I don't even remember. Like, honestly, I'm glad I don't remember because this whole situation had me losing sleep for like a good month afterwards. But um, I was involved in a bad car accident. I had just had got off of work. It was like on a Thursday night and I was going back home because literally that Friday night, I had to catch a flight to um, Vegas because it was my mom's 50th birthday or whatever. So I was like, you know, we already paid for the plane ticket. We already booked the room, et cetera, et cetera. Like, it was just like a normal thing for me, basically. Because normally I do go home at nighttime after I get off from work because on Thursdays, because on Fridays I don't have any classes. And most of the times I'm either requesting the weekend off or I'm not working on the weekend. So it's like, it's really no point in me being out here in San Jose like that so it was like a normal thing for me to go back home that night I'm driving and as I'm trying to merge over to a different freeway because what had initially happened was I was driving like literally just driving straight and like I was like I say maybe like a mile into where I was like oh shit my exit is coming up I need to get over because I'm like in the middle lane and my exit is literally like an exit away and of course I'm checking my rear mirrors I'm checking my uh, mirror up here I'm even turning my head it's pitch dark I don't see any cars and at the time I had a car that actually would notify me when a car was nearby and it would make like um, this beeping sound or something but it didn't it didn't do that so I was like all right I'm in the clear to get over but for some reason when I had tried to get over um, to take my exit or whatever as I was getting over something in the back of my mind was like Brit this is a dumbass move like don't why did you do it and literally as I'm getting over my car gets smacked y'all and it flips like multiple times like this shit felt like it was like a movie type thing because it was just like so unreal for me 
and it was just like a very scary moment and like I swear for like the longest I thought I wasn't alive I thought people were just telling me I was alive just I don't know like I thought I was already dead and I was just I don't know like I was just like it was kind of like an out of body type moment type thing and honestly I'm just so glad that I'm here and I'm alive like it took me a good two months to get behind the wheel again also because I kept telling my family like I don't want to drive ever again like it's too scary and I don't want to be in this type of position ever again because driving on the freeway is really scary it's like it doesn't have anything to do with you being super precautious it's just the people on the road they're not always going to be the same and it kind of scares me sometimes still because I'm like I don't want this to happen again but also I can't live my life in fear and I got places to go I got shit I need to get done and I gotta do and I can't be relying on nobody and I don't like relying on nobody I'm very independent I like to consider myself independent so it was like kind of important for me to get behind the wheel early again I guess you could say I mean it really wasn't me who wanted to get behind the wheel again it was my dad who was like pushing it up on me and yeah the whole thing whatever but yeah so that's what happened and it was like it was just a lot going on for me honestly because literally after I got into my car accident of course I notified my insurance people and I notified my car people and literally as I landed in um Vegas um when I landed in Vegas and I got to the hotel room I will never forget this day because I was literally like I was just y'all I was a wreck but anyways as soon as I got to the hotel room and um my insurance people called me and they basically were telling me that I only had liability on my car so they're not gonna cover the damage that um happened which I was like what do you mean like the car got totaled like you know like how am I still held accountable for this car like I'm not understanding and um speed the fuck up I don't give a fuck Oh my, this is why I do not need to be on the road. But anyways, literally when I had got to the hotel and I was on the phone with insurance, they basically were telling me that they can't um they can't really do anything about the situation. The only thing they will cover is my hospital bills if I have any. And I mean that was pretty much it. And I started breaking down because I'm only 20 years old and I'm barely starting to build my credit. So for this to be on my credit and like show people that I'm not responsible I don't pay my bills because mind you I stopped paying on my um my last car because for one it's totaled out and I'm not gonna be paying no $300 car payment on a car that I'm not driving anymore and plus it's just like I have other stuff that I need to focus on so I really was like okay whatever like I'm not using this vehicle no more I'm not using this vehicle no more there's no need for me to even be paying on it that's just my whole um, momentum on it so that's pretty much what I did and luckily I was lucky enough to get this car well my dad um, kind of helped me or whatnot but um, they didn't send my last car to collection just yet so when I was getting this car it was like my credit was still good but now they sent that shit to collection and of course they're calling me like uh, we had no idea about this and the third well bitch i'm sorry you already sold me the car so <laughs> but yeah that was like the whole thing with um with the freaking car situation it was just super stressful just to find out that my car insurance couldn't do much about it and 
it was just weighing heavy on me because i don't know i thought i was in trouble by the law i didn't hit nobody luckily and whoever hit me there i guess they're good because literally when i had got out of my car because i had to crawl out of my car y'all when it had flipped over my trunk literally popped open and that was like the only thing that saved me and i literally barely just got out of that because it was like so hard to squeeze my my whole body out my trunk because it was just like a little bit of room to like go out it was kind of like a hole in the trunk basically i guess i wouldn't say like the trunk popped open or whatnot because it wasn't that much space it was just a little bit of space but i really was struggling to get out the car and a lot of people who stopped on the side of the road who saw the accident and saw my car flip over they were trying to tell me to stay in the car and wait for paramedics but I'm a health student, I'm a public health student, so I'm very familiar with the health field. And I knew for a fact, if I stayed in that car, that car probably would have blew up because mind you, I just had put gas in that car and the car was flipped over, like it was upside down and the car was still running. So there was no way that I was gonna risk just staying in there and wait for the paramedics. So I squeezed myself out of that back seat and thank God for that. I really appreciate to even still be here and to still have all my bones and everything. Like when stuff like this happens, it's like you don't take life for granted anymore. You actually look at life for what it was. I mean, for what it is and you're kind of just, you know yeah I hate when people look at me and they oh too they just damn it. get your ass in your Kia and drive off so um yeah that was that on the car accident I just wanted to speak on it because I felt like I didn't really speak on it I was just telling my close friends and close families the whole situation but I really didn't like tell the outside world the situation not that it matters because who the fuck am i nobody but um yeah i just wanted to share that little story it was just a lot going on and the whole fact of this with my insurance not wanting to cover it i'm all the way out in vegas and i'm trying to celebrate my mom's 50th birthday but yet i'm still thinking about fuck what's gonna happen when this trip is over type shit like i was trying to think of my next move mind you i was still working how am i gonna get to my job because my job is like 20 to 30 minutes away from my apartment when there's traffic on a good day it could be like 15 minutes but still i had to put all that in perspective and think like how am i gonna get to work now you know lift is really expensive so that whole time period with me without a car for two months, I was actually taking the bus. I had went down to my school and I got a VTA card. It was the first time I ever took the bus. And honestly, I'm not knocking it. You know, um, if I didn't have a car, I would still be taking the bus because I mean, that shit is free transportation. I mean, you see a lot on the bus. Honestly, I know one of my stops, somebody was fighting outside of the bus stop and I had to go to a different bus stop because I was scared. But I mean, free transportation, it don't get no better than that. I mean, you gotta sit on a bus for dumb long. Like I said, it takes like 25 to 30 minutes to get to my job. But on a bus with all them damn stops, it was like an hour and five minutes on the bus. So I would have to leave early, you know, a little bit early, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get by in this world. So it was whatever I was with it. But yeah, it was just a lot weighing on my head. And mind you, I'm in Vegas just trying to have a good time. But it was hard because I kept thinking about it. And I kept breaking down to my mom and just the whole situation with the insurance type shit. Like they weren't trying to pay for the car. Mind you, my car has been sitting at a total lot for about two, three days. And they were charging me $300 for it to sit there. And I didn't even get to pay that because I don't have that type of money. I mean, like, where do you expect me to come with this money? And I was just in, like, a bad car collision. It was just, it's so much, but yet it's like, 
I don't know. I guess I kind of understand it, but I understand it now, but I don't really understand it still because it's like I was just in a bad car accident. It shouldn't matter if I can't come up with the person who hit my car. It shouldn't matter. I have insurance. I have some type of insurance and I've been having this insurance for over a year, almost two years. You tell me you can't have some money put aside that I pay almost every month for coverage. Like, it wasn't making sense to me. And at this point, I mean, it's whatever, you know. But, yeah, it was just, y'all, it was a lot going on in Vegas. I know at one point I had told my mom when I was in a hotel room breaking down about the insurance thing. I had told my mom, why did God keep me here to suffer? And my mom actually started breaking down because she don't like when anybody talks like that you know obviously you're here for a reason if god kept you here and she just you know basically just made me realize like you know why i was still here you know like i have a lot of value and um just a lot of potential like god sees me you know putting in overtime you know putting in that work you know going to school full time and trying to maintain a job and just getting my shit done like god sees that so he didn't take me out you know like he knows that i have a a long life ahead of me a fulfilling life ahead of me so that's why he kept me here but yeah that whole situation with the car accident was just a little bit too much to bear and I'm just so glad that it's over with because honestly, after the car accident, I couldn't sleep for a month. I was on antidepressants and that really messed with my mood. Um, it just, it made me really like upset at one moment and then the next minute I was okay. It kind of made me feel bipolar, so I had to take myself off of it. I then was on... Um, I don't know what they're called but they were like sleeping pills to help me sleep and every time I would take one it will feel like I'm about to have a heart attack but then literally instantly I would just knock out like that and I didn't like that feeling either because my heart is pounding really like I felt like it was affecting my heart I was just going through a lot of complications after the accident um actually until this day i'm still having like mild chest pains it it comes here and there you know um at one point it, it went away i was fine but then i started working out heavily and it came back so i feel like after that car accident it really has just changed my whole body and just how i operate in general like although nothing physically or internally happened to me after the accident I still like I don't know I still feel different like I don't feel like the same person I was before I got into the accident like something feels a little bit off it could be because I was in like a major collision and I mean I was tumbling multiple times but yeah I just wanted to speak out on that and just let y'all know what happened with everything I'm good now I'm straight it's a new year I got a new car <sighs> It's just blessings on blessings, man, and I'm just grateful. But anyways, I'm at this nail shop. I'm finna go in and get a fill, and I will show y'all how my nails are looking afterwards. Bye, y'all. When I tell you, sis snapped, and then I got look. Like toes get chose. What? I'm loving this. Like, look at this sugar candy. Look. Get this and the paper shavings, bro. Mark. Okay, y'all. I am finally back after being in the nail shop for a good hour and thirty minutes. Oh, Jesus! But sis, snaps, y'all. Like, do y'all see the details? You see the details? Pure bullshit. Okay. Like, I know y'all see it. Uh, you see it? You see it? Oh, <laughs> icy! Cause I'm icy. Hey, this one five feet through the window. I love my nails though. Like this is just giving me Valentine vibes and just all the vibes. But anyways, thank y'all for 
follow me for today you know this is just some normal brit type life type stuff if i'm not in school if i'm not at work i'm taking care of myself getting my nails done or looking for a new wig i'm all about self-care because i love my image and it's a certain way i like to look everyone is different but self-care to me is very important so treat yourself ladies you know it feels good once in a while after you know just been working all the time and going to school it feels good to just go into the nail shop and just unwind and spend a little money i mean you're gonna make that shit right back like come on now anyways um this is it for this video for today please like and subscribe and comment and let me know if y'all want more videos like this because i normally just do videos on my wigs and that's about it so if you think i'm interesting you know just let me know below and i'll try to make more videos of my days okay bye y'all